Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today we're doing a like all the new foods I tried in March video. I tried a lot of foods this month. I got a wonderful package shipped to me from a subscriber. Thank you so much. So I got to try some things from that package. I also went to Trader Joe's and I got to try a bunch of things from that trip as well. Um, Almost everything that I bought in my Trader Joe's video, I got the chance to taste test in this video. So if you're interested in Trader Joe's stuff, then you definitely want to watch. Two things that I didn't record for this video that I feel like I should include is this non-dairy chocolate oat beverage. Delicious. Amazing. I love it. It's so chocolatey and delicious. I could not stop drinking it long enough to shoot a video. So that's, you know, a review enough. And then the second thing... I didn't record in this video is the Trader Joe's vegan cream cheese. The reason why I didn't include it in this video is because I'm going to be including it in a future video, but just so you know, it's gross. Don't do it. Mm -mm, not great. Not great at all. But that's all I have for an intro. I really hope you enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. Hey guys, we're about to review a uh, misal curry from Trader Joe's. So I was reading the ingredients and it says moth beans. I do not know what a moth bean is, but it's moth bean, like coconut stuff, seasonings, like cardamom and coriander and turmeric, and then rice, tomato, cilantro, blah 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 blah, contains coconut, no duh. It does not look that great. I'm usually, you know, a fan of Trader Joe's. Okay, so that is the brown rice. It's kind of like purpley, and that's the curry. It's a lot more watery than I would like, and it doesn't smell that great, but we're gonna try it anyway. Also, this took forever to microwave, like forever, for some reason. Like, it kept on being still cold in the middle. I don't know why. Mm, it's not bad. It's pretty spicy. It's pretty, it's like, I'd give it like a, like a, Seven and a half on the spicy scale or eight. I'd say my main issue is the textures. The curry is like oddly very mushy and strangely textured. I know curry is mushy, but this is mushy like wet paper. Not like curry is supposed to be mushy. Hey guys, so what I usually do when somebody sends me snack from another country is I do a live stream of it. Um, and somebody was so kind, I'm always so flattered, somebody was so kind as to send me uh, a care package from another country and I usually live stream it, but unfortunately my life right now is very hectic and I haven't been able to find a time to live stream in the past couple weeks and I don't see myself finding any time in the next couple weeks. And I feel like letting this box sit in my kitchen is a huge injustice to the person sending it to me, so I've decided to switch it up a little bit. I'm gonna be unboxing the box right here in this like new taste test video and then over time I can like taste test the food in here either in this month or in future months and I'll reach out to them privately to give them all my thanks. Woohoo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Savory things, I love savory things. Okay, so, so first off we have Wheat Crunches Crispy Bacon Flavor Ribbon Saucy Flavor. We have salt and vinegar squares. Oh, from Walkers? Isn't this Lay's? Is it, I think this is like the same company as Lay's, but it's sold as Walkers in the UK. And then the last is Knickknacks Nice and Spicy flavor right here. And then we have gummies. Sour gummies are my favorite. Gelatin free, veggie, Wendy the worm, fizzy fruit gums, sour tastic. I can't wait to try these. Veggie Leo the Lion Chewy Fruit Gummies. Right there. I'm, I've received like four or five gift boxes from the UK at this point and none of these are repeats. I'm very surprised. This is all new to me. I'm very excited. And then we have My Sweet Chickpea Dark Chocolate Roasted Chickpeas. I've also never had this. Three of these better brownies. We have coconut cashew, cherry bakewell, and chocolate berry. No mo, no missing out. Vegan and free from dairy, gluten, egg, and nuts. Caramel chocolate bar. I know y'all say that we have all the good sweets here, but I really don't think so. Fries raspberry cream. So it looks like chocolate on the outside, and raspberry cream on the inside. Peaks. Maybe it, like, it looks like a um, life, you know what it looks like? It looks like life cereal covered in chocolate. And then there's a whole bunch of tea. But thank you so much. Here's a review of 
these sweets hope they're in focus it's called leo the lion it looks like this where like the green part is kind of like a gummy but the white part is fluffier like <sighs> like what would you call that babe um i don't know play-doh here yeah kind of like play-doh anyway it's more matte the flavor is okay but the texture is a little weird mm. i like it a lot actually you yeah like okay. it, i like the quirkiness would you buy it yeah i would eat it but i wouldn't buy it i would buy it and oh. you're this is something I've been wanting to taste test for a long, long time. It's been out for a while, but I just recently got my hands on it. And that is Pumfu. Oh, my nails match the packaging. One of you guys pointed out recently that my nails usually matches the food. That's never on purpose, but wow. I should become a hand model for Pumfu with this nail polish. Ooh, ah, uh -huh. Anyway, from the name, it is Pumpkin Seed tofu basically for people who want a high protein meat substitute that doesn't have soy or gluten another thing that makes it crazy interesting is that it's green it's it's green like if i wouldn't know any better i would think it's like gone bad but no it is green ingredients 100 percent organic pumpkin seeds and water that's it just pumpkin seeds and water one thing that threw me off, and it really shouldn't have because, I mean, pumpkin seeds are high calorie, is how incredibly high calorie this is. Let me get you a regular tofu and let me show it to you real quick. Three ounces of soy tofu, 70 calories. Three ounces of pumpkin seed tofu, 240 calories. That is an insane difference. It's insane. Also, comparatively, it's not as high protein. That being said, there are many people who are soy and gluten intolerant, so for those people, I guess this is a good option. I'm here to mostly judge the flavor, but I did want to give you that nutritional info. My usual method for baking tofu is to cube it, put some oil on it, and throw it in the oven. So that's what I'm gonna do with this, and then we'll do a little taste test. I'll be back. All right, our little pumfus are ready. Look at that. They're like, so green now. If I were to assume what leprechaun food looks like, it would look like this. The texture is not it. Hmm. Mm. The flavor is oak. Mm. I wanted to like it. I'm gonna eat it, right? I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna let it go to waste. But the texture is very much like nut pulp. Which is weird because it looks like the outside got kind of crispy and the inside is still like soft, but it's not soft. It's like crumbly. No, no. The flavor is okay. It tastes like when you've been chewing almonds for a while and you've already like sucked all the juice out of it and you just have like some almond crumbles in your mouth, you know, like under your tongue. I feel a little bit let down, not gonna lie. So one of the neat things about doing what I do and taste testing vegan food is sometimes a company will reach out before they have a product on the market and I'll get to taste the product before it's even packaged correctly. This is the second time this has happened to me and it's always so interesting, so let's do this. So the company is called Fit P Foods and they're coming out with a protein cookie dough bar. Very exciting. I have one flavor here with me and that is chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, and the main ingredients, the protein is pea protein and mung bean. The same thing that just egg is made out of. Oh, it legit looks like cookie dough. Wait, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> There's a singular chocolate chip on that side. There's a couple more on this side. I hope it's good. Hmm. Okay, so the first impression, very cookie dough-esque. I appreciate the chocolate chip. It's a little bit drier than a cookie dough, obviously, so it could like hold its shape without it being in a tub or something, so that's fine. But I wish the pea protein taste was a little bit more subtle. But that's so neat. They are palm oil free, and their packaging will be plastic free as well. I really like that. Hey guys, this is less a review and more of kind of like a recommendation, because sorry, I've already had it before. Kind of, where is it? 
hibiscus water. Now, I've had hibiscus tea, and like that's like sweet and delicious and whatever, but this is hibiscus water. It's unsweetened. It tastes a lot like cranberry juice, but better. Uh, like, like tart organic cranberry juice. Does that make sense? Have you had that before? Have you had that before? Have you needed tart cranberry juice in your life before? Tastes similar to that, but like much better. It's like, well, kind of like palm, like, you know, the pomegranate juices, it's like tart and refreshing. I don't know. I've been liking them lately. They're not sweet. So if you're the kind of person who needs like a drink to be sweet, then it's not for you. But if you like, if you like tart, refreshing things, it's good. Has zero grams of sugar, zero calories, organic and tart. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I have to drive home. I just left work. Bye. Hello. Hello. Today we're trying a new meat alternative burger that has just launched onto the market. You may have seen it on Shark Tank recently, and the company is called Everything Legendary. They make vegan burgers that are soy-free, gluten-free, GMO-free? Yes, soy, gluten, GMO-free. Those are the frees. The main ingredients are water, pea protein, and a coconut oil, canola oil blend, and then a whole bunch of seasonings. They come frozen and I'll show you how they look like before you cook it, like that. And this is how it looks like after you cook it. I basically just pan fried this for three minutes on each side, as it says on the website, and then I didn't bring a fork, so I will be eating this with my hand like a cookie. Hmm, very juicy and flavorful, gives me turkey burger vibes. They did send this to me, but it's not sponsored, so. Here's my honest opinion. The texture is very different from either Beyond or Impossible. I wouldn't say it's comparable to either one. A little softer, but it is yummy. I would eat it. I don't think it tastes like meat, but it does have that good meaty salty flavor that would taste delicious in a burger. I hope they do well with their Shark Tank deal. Sorry, one more note while I'm eating it. it. It does not need to be seasoned. Like a lot of the times if I make a Beyond Burger or a uh, Impossible Burger, I'd have to like season it because it doesn't have much flavor other than just like being generally meaty. This is fairly well seasoned, so like I wouldn't add anything to it. That's all I have to say, bye. I want it to be a little bit more attractive when I was filming this clip. I really did, okay? But if I wait any longer, these will be gone because I will tell you right now, these are the most delicious gummies I've ever had. It's like each one has the essence of like three whole ass fruits in it. It's so good. They're very expensive. They're from Sugarfina. I'm sure you guys have seen these online before. They're very popular amongst the influencers. I never really got the hype. I was like, wow, overpriced candy, but no. They sent me this box for free, so that's a heads up, because they wanted me to announce to the masses that they now have vegan gummies. So I was like, sure, I'll put you on my story. I didn't promise them a good review or any review, honestly. They were just like, here you go. So I was like, thank you very much, free candy. I had some of these the other day, and now that's all I could think about. This is the mango flavor. Like, literally, like, you know when those, like, ripe, a tool full mangoes are like the perfect level of ripeness and they make you feel like you're sitting on the beach in the Caribbean when you eat one. That is the flavor in every single one of these mangoes. And I swear to God, I'm not overhyping them. Literally the best gummies in my life. Okay, I'm done talking. Oh, but I, I need to give you the heads up. I think these are like $12 each. Yes, for this tiny little box. That's absolutely ridiculous. So keep that in mind. But dare I say, if you have the money, it is worth the $12. I got mango, strawberry, and pineapple. I don't know if that's all their vegan flavors or they just sent me a couple of their vegan flavors, but of these three, my favorite is the mango and then strawberry and then pineapple, but they're all delicious, but the mango is the best. That's all I have to say, bye. <sighs> today was a lot. I, I'm over today, I'm over it. But we do get to try something that I didn't know existed until a few days ago. I found it on 
Whole Foods, like online on Whole Foods. So we're gonna try it together. When I got it, I didn't realize it had sweet potato. So now that I know it has sweet potato, I'm just like, eh. I'm not usually a fan of sweet potato, but whatever, we'll try it. It's Gardein, usually Gardein is a hit for me. So <sighs> let me get it. Gardein. Sausage potato kale breakfast bowl. Now, I thought that meant white potato. I love me a white potato. Sweet potato, not so much, but whatever. Oh, it reminds me of hospital eggs. Um, I was in the hospital a lot when I was younger because my sister's special needs, and this smells like a hospital meal, but like, that doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. It's just a specific, like, egg-like smell. If, I don't know, I don't know if any of you feel me. Got some gravy and sausage and potato and sweet potato an egg in my recycled plastic spoon. That's really good. <laughs> That's not bad. These sausages are pretty bomb. I'm gonna spread the gravy so it like, I don't get like gravy bites and then non-gravy bites, but I'm gonna try to have a bite with more sweet potato and see if it's still good. All right, I picked up a bunch of sweet potato. Three sweet potato pieces in this bite. Three sweet potato pieces in this bite. If I still like it with that much sweet potato, that means they did a good job. Now, while the sweet potato is not a note I particularly enjoy in the bite, it's still not bad. I think they did a good job with this. This is really yummy, actually. I'm gonna eat this and then call my boyfriend so he makes me feel better. Bye. This is kind of review, but mostly recommendation because I low-key already tried it. So in that box that I was sent a couple days ago, uh, there are these little caramel chocolates. No mo, no mo, no missing out. This is a caramel chocolate bar. It's free from dairy, gluten, eggs, and nuts. It's absolutely freaking delicious. Let me show it to you. I have two of the bars right here that I'm about to eat for a snack, but... There's caramel on the inside. Um, it gives me like low-key Easter candy vibes, so like not like super high-end chocolate vibes, but the caramel is so good and the chocolate is so sugary. I really like this. I wish they sold this in the US, I really do. If you can find it, go for it. Wow, my nails match. Wow, almost perfectly too. I should be a hand model for this chocolate. Anyway, bye. I have a recommendation, and that is Moonshot Crackers. These are really good, bro. Um, Plant-based cracker, non-GMO, carbon neutral, 100% recycled carton. The ingredients in this one specifically is wheat flour, tomato, sunflower oil, sourdough, sea salt, and then spices and baking soda. Um, you can tell that I like it because I've almost finished this flavor, and this flavor is tomato basil. It's really yummy. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, it's a little hearty, right? So, this flavor is delicious. It's great on its own. I'm gonna do with cheese or whatever. And then we have this flavor, which is also delicious. Rosemary garlic. And then we have plain sourdough sea salt. You can taste the sourdough in the plain one. A little bit, a little tang. These are delicious. I like these a lot. This was fine, it's delicious, but like why eat plain when you can eat flavored, you know? So, I recommend. Hey guys, so today we're taste testing an option from a bakery. So this chocolate cherry cake is from Ovenly. Chocolate, chocolate amaretto cake, I think. Let me look up the exact name. One second. Chocolate Amarina cake? I don't know what an Amarina is, so I'm gonna look it up. What is a Marina? Not marinara sauce. Oh, it's like a cherry. It's like a cherry flavor. Amarina cherry is a small, sour, dark colored Italian cherry grown in Bologna and Medina, two cities in Italy. It's usually bottled in syrup and used as a decoration on rich desserts. So I guess that is what those cherries are on top. So let's start from the beginning. This is a gluten-free Amarina chocolate, chocolate Amarina cherry cake from Ovenly. And we're about to taste test it. I don't know what locations they have. I know they have a bunch of locations in New York, but I don't know what locations they have outside of New York. Oh my God, there's like a caramel syrup in the middle or something. Gluten-free and vegan. 
Hmm, it works, you know? It is good. There's no like cherry chunks in it or anything. The cake itself is a little bit crumbly-ish, like a gluten-free cake is, but the frosting is hella chocolatey. I feel like it makes up for it. I think it's pretty good. Mmm, not very fruity. It's nighttime, we're watching Breaking Bad, and I'm about to try this organic almond beverage chocolate bar from Trader Joe's. It looks very beautiful, very aesthetic. One of us has to look aesthetic this late at night. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Have you ever had a lint chocolate ball, right? And the chocolate on the inside tastes different than the chocolate on the outside. Like the chocolate on the inside tastes a little bit like butter. That's what this tastes like. And I'm not sure if I like it. Like, too creamy, too batty. Something's off. It tastes like the inside of a milk lint ball. So if you like that, go for it. If you find that a little bit too buttery, then maybe not. And those are my thoughts, goodbye. And that is all I have for today. I really hope you enjoyed that video. Do you agree with my assessments of the foods? Is there anything specific do you want me to look for for next month? I'm thinking about going to an Asian market this month and looking for a natto because I've been wanting to try that for ages. So maybe we'll do that. I don't know. But that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. And that's all I have for today. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, Jasmine, Mariella, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, and Rachel. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.